um, as folks roll in, I'm, I'll get them kind of like signed up and ready to go, and then at the end we'll probably do like a final like, yeah, we and, and like got a lot done. My position is deputy director at Groundwork Somerville. We're really excited to have the um, Somerville Spring Cleanup happening today. Our goal really is to just get lots of community members out working together and appreciating the green spaces in our city. Such a small square mileage of city, we sometimes don't realize all the amazing parks that we have and this is a great day to get people out and appreciating those spaces and helping to make them even more beautiful. I've been involved since 2015, so we've been doing the cleanup for many years and I've been uh, a part of it for the last four years. I think as someone who works here at South Street Farm and you know we hire high school students to work here in the summer but at this point in the year we don't have a lot of support so being able to see all of these hands come out and um, sort of see our starting point and then come to the end of the day and see piles of trash bags and seeds planted and, um, and flowers planted is just so satisfying to see how much work can get done in just two hours with lots of help. So we're just weeding <laughs> at the moment. Not the most fun job, but still needs to be done, right? Yeah. And then uh, we're going to be planting some spring flowers um, and sort of getting the beds ready, I guess, for whatever spring plants they have to do. So what we're planting today is just a few flowers sort of in the corners, um, but I'm sure they're going to be using some of the beds for you know food because I know they do a lot of donations. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think they're going to be doing some food and stuff, um, you know, maybe once the beds are ready. So maybe they'll have another volunteer day that we'll get to come back to do some more planting. Um, we are really lucky to often have as many as 500 people come out today across the 11 sites across the city. So, um, and then for some folks, it's the first time they've ever heard of the work that we do, and, and lots of folks sign up to continue volunteering um, afterwards as well. I am volunteering because at my full-time job, I actually work at State Street as the corporate citizenship role as a volunteer coordinator, basically, in the simplest way to explain it. And I help find nonprofits and engagement opportunities for our employees. And this one hit home because I grew up in Somerville. I'm usually from Union Square. When I was a freshman in high school, I did participate in Groundwork Somerville as a summer job. So it was my first job ever, so of course I had to volunteer. We are going to compost garlic that was left here last fall. So we're taking them out of this plastic yeah. so they can be replanted and refurbished. Hopefully get some more garlic. Well actually I found Groundwork Somerville online just looking for volunteer projects and um, we actually run ESIN, the uh, Environmental Sustainability Employee Network, mm -hmm. um, at State Street. So this would be a great way to like show people how to compost, show people how to get involved within their communities. I'm actually running a composting workshop next week so this is pretty ideal right now. Um. This is the type of thing that I always think about doing and, and want to participate in, but um, honestly, like, rarely feel like it align, like lines up with what I have for free time. Saturday mornings work out pretty well, and um, I used to be a little bit involved with groundwork, so it was a nice chance to sort of reconnect with them. Um, and I kind of like this, this space specifically, the South Street Farm. Um, I used to share office space with Groundwork when, was, when they first got this space, and it was just a really cool concept. So it was nice to come support the efforts. So these like little tiny, tiny, tiny little greens here, all those too, I think so, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's My name is Kat, I'm the Executive Director of Groundwork Somerville. I want to welcome everybody to the annual Spring Cleanup. Um, we're very excited to be here again. Last year we had over 500 people across 11 sites. Um, and we picked up over 200 bags of trash, so set the bar pretty high. Um, so a core part of our mission at Groundwork Somerville is unifying our city's green spaces and getting people connected um, back to the community. So days like this where we're all out here building community, making new friends, seeing each other, this is really vital to our mission and we're really glad to have you here today. I'm going to ask, uh, well good morning, happy spring. 
All right. Listen, I know I'm a, I'm a parent of four boys, and a lot of sports been canceled this spring, but at least everything's going to be a lot greener, even greener than Seattle. I mean, as we think about protecting our environment and making a more sustainable future for our environment, it, it, you know, the people that uh, suffer the most consequences for failure of environmental policy, for failure to act for a cleaner future uh, of our environment, are the most vulnerable populations. And we're sitting next to a budding some of our, one of many environmental justice zones in Somerville. So I want to thank you for coming out today. Hello, my name is Michael Fager. I'm with the Somerville Community Preservation Committee. The Community Preservation Committee is the city design committee that spends the money raised by the Community Preservation Act, which is a surcharge on property taxes and real estate transfers. We use the money for three different things, affordable housing, historic preservation, and uh, acquisition and preservation of open space and recreational spaces. Uh, we have done a number of projects around Somerville, including a lot of money to the Affordable Housing Trust, the uh, re reconstruction of the tower on Prospect Hill, and many other things. We think this is a great way to spend the community's money to restore the community. Um, we're out here today uh, tabling for the uh, cleanup day event and uh, we have items here to promote awareness around our hashtag nip it campaign which is aimed at decreasing the youth exposure to small alcohol bottles that are littered here in summer <laughs> Thank you.